I'm here at the Mapex booth with my old buddy, and I do mean buddy. Uh, Happy New Year! Joe Hibbs, who is going to uh, give us a little tour here and show us the, the big news here is the new Sonic Clear Edge. Thank you, Andy, and thank you, Drum Magazine. And make sure all you people know, all you drumming cats know, that if, when you want to know what's the latest in drums, drum news, drum guys, drum this, drum that, <laughs> pick up a drum magazine or go online to the Electronic Drum Magazine. They got their fingers on the pulse. So this year at NAM 2014, we have a whole bunch of exciting new mid-range product. And it's mid-range product with some real guts to it, some real meat to it, and it's not just another free tom or it's not just another tobacco sunburst finish. It's something we developed that actually makes the drum sound better, makes the person who's buying the drum tune quicker and start playing more. And the heart and soul of this innovation is a bearing edge. Uh, we've created a new bearing edge called Sonic Clear. Uh, the, the easiest way to sort of experience and understand what Sonic Clear does is a little demo. This is sort of a typical edge on a lot of drums, which is a very sharp 45, and it comes all the way out to the outer end of the shell. Um, this sort of edge does have a, some advantage to it, but one of the big disadvantages it has is when you put a typical drum head on it, it's very easy to see that this drum head doesn't really seat very well, okay? It's not seating as well as it should. And it's pretty obvious, you know, to understand what happens when you do this, you're losing the even and the total contact of the head to the shell. So the, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be very difficult to tune. And even when you get it tuned, it's not gonna be a really, really great sound. And you're not getting the full performance out of the head and out of the shell. So what we did is create a Sonic Clear bearing edge, which again has a 45 and a 3 8 back cut. And what we've done is add a little bit of a flat spot to the top, okay? And using the same drum head that was on the typical edge, put it on there. It's very easy to see. The head fits flat, okay? So the head is starting out on the shell with full contact, okay? From there, it only gets better. It's easier to tune, and when I say easier to tune, it doesn't have to be your normal scientific tuning method. It can be your 13 or 14 year old tuning method, which is a key just cranking around the drum and getting it to sound. Because there's more head contact with the shell, that means every time you hit it, there's more energy being transferred from the head to all the way down to the shell. So the tuning's easier, the tuning's quicker, and the actual tone of the drum is a lot bigger. So that's what Sonic Clear bearing edges bring to Armory, Mars, and all the wood models of Armory snare drums. The best way to really see this is, is in, the, is in a, a, a tuning example. Now, rather than use uh, the age-old practice of a cross-log tuning sequence. I'm going to tune as though I were maybe a 15-year-old kid who hasn't been instructed on how to properly tune drums yet, and they may break all of the tuning laws. So rather than cross-log, I'm going to go around in a circle like this and start applying attention. Now, if a head does not sit flatly on the bearing edge, what happens when you go around a cir in a circle like this is the side that you start tensioning first seats down, but the other side lifts up. And when the other side lifts up, that drum is never going to tune properly. But when the head sits flatly on the bearing edge, you can go through this method, and already, even at very low tension, we're starting to get some tone out of the drum. So I'm just going to continue around. For having followed a completely incorrect tuning method, which is something that a, a young player might do, I was able to get a, a great sound on a stand, no less, which is not something you would typically do during tuning. 
I was able to get a great sound in just a couple of seconds. Now I could probably spend a few more minutes and get this thing really properly dialed in. The other benefit it provides is when you're on a gig, you know, three or four songs in, that rack tom drops in tension, right? Because it's the one that you're probably hitting the most. Yeah. Well, when you reach up with a single key, you don't have time to figure out which lug has, has dropped the most and where the imbalance is. So you reach up with your key and you and you crank on one tension rod in order to bring the drum back up to pitch. But you're not sure if, you're not sure if it's the right one, right? So you're going to wind up possibly throwing the drum even further out of tune. Well, one of the things that this edge does is it allows a significant torque on one edge, on one tension rod, without really destroying the, the, the sound integrity of the drum. So it really allows you to violate all the traditional laws of tuning and sound and still get an amazing sound out of the drum. All right, so Joe, we're taking a look at, uh, what are we looking at here? This is a drum set called Armory Series. Now this is a little different because the shell makeup is a birch, maple, birch layup. And once again, all the Woods Series drums, Mars or Armory, have the new Sonic Clear bearing edges, okay? All Armor Series kits are lacquer finish. Some of the kit combinations with the finish are either black hardware, black plated hardware, or chrome hardware. They could come in six piece kits or five piece kit combinations. Hey, let me stop you there. Can you tell us uh, the difference between black uh, plated and well, the, the process is totally different. One is electroplating, and one powder coating is a is a spray process where the stuff is sprayed onto a surface and it's heated, and the heat applies it to the surface. Powder coating is not quite as resilient as black plating, and it also looks a little different. Black plating will be a little bit; it'll hold up a little better on the road or be a hold, up, a hold up a little better being torn or down, set up. Overall, it's a little bit better quality than black powder coating. So with powder coating, you might over time see a little wear at points like this where you have metal like taking some tension. Exactly. Every, every, every chromed or finished stand will chip. Chrome, you don't see it as bad because it's chrome on a, on a steel stand. Right. So black, because of the contrast, yeah, you'll see it a little bit more. But black plating will wear and tear a lot better than black powder coating. And it looks just more expensive. It is more, it is more lustrous looking. Yeah, very much more. So depending on the finish of the drum, that will determine the finish of the hardware, okay? These drums, some of the features that we put on these drums are the same features that exist on Saturn. We've used a Sonic Clear Tom suspension mount on all the Tom Toms. Okay, we use a Sonic Clear floor Tom leg like we use on Saturn on all the drums, and again on all the Armory series and Mars drums, we have a Sonic Clear bearing edge, which is really the heart and soul of all our mid-range product this year. A bearing edge that'll make it tune quicker, sound better, sound fuller. The other really, really cool thing about Armory Series sets is they all come with an Armory Series 14 by 5 and a half inch Tomahawk snare drum. Killing snare drum. New throw off, new tube lugs, USA Remo Code and Ambassador Head. The other amazing thing that Mapex has done is if you buy the kit and let's say in 10 days the snare drum is not your cup of tea or you've already owned it, you already own a steel snare drum in your dig. You can take that snare drum, box it up, pay for the shipping back to Mapex, and we will send you your choice of one of the other four Armory Series snare drums. Can you tell us about this? This is Mars Series. This is, again, mid-range, but it's mid-range at a little bit more reasonable price point. These drums are all birch. These drums again have the Sonic Clear bearing edge that we talked about earlier on, on Army Series. So these drums out of the box, the, the beginner, the second set beginner, he'll be able to put a tuning on them, put his headphones on and start jamming out to Zeppelin, you know, or, or 
or Van Halen, and the drums will sound as good as the drums in his headphones. These drums are pretty unique. They come with some of the Sonic Clear, some of the Sonic Clear features that we talked about earlier. It comes with a Sonic Clear Tom mount. It also comes with a version of the Black Panther lug. All the snare drums on Mars series are six and a half by 14 to give you a snare drum with a little bit more depth, a little bit more crack. All the finishes are very, very unique. It's vertical grain covering. If you were here, and if we were like bonded or something, you could actually rub your hand across here and feel the wood grain. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. So very unique finishes. And again, like on Armory, the hardware is coordinated with the drum finishes. We have chrome hardware and black plated hardware. Also in this classic kit, you don't find a lot of unique fin combinations or configurations. So we made sure we had some standard configurations, which are five piece, 22 by 18, 10 by seven, 12 by eight, 16 by 14. We also made sure we had some other configurations like the one you're looking at, which is a crossover 22. It's basically a one up and two down, 22 by 18, 12 by eight, 14 by 12, and 16 by 14. Again, with the 14 by six and a half snare drum. So we're going to look at some uh, new snare drums here. Okay. Along with Armory's drum set and Mars drum set, we also have Armory series snare drums. Keep in mind that all the wood models have the new Sonic Clear bearing edge on them. The goal on these five snare drums were to give five different snare drums, five different personalities, and five different sounds. The first one is called the Exterminator. It's a hybrid shell birch and walnut. Six and a half by 14 lacquer. It's got a Mapex exclusive tube lug, Mapex piston strainer, and all of these snare drums come with a Remo coated USA Ambassador. Birch and Walnut 14 by 6.5 Exterminator. The next drum in the series is called a piece. Daisy Cutter. Called a Daisy Cutter, my fault. For, you, for all those out there who may not know what a Daisy Cutter is, it was the largest, biggest, non-atomic bomb ever made. This represents how this drum sounds. The bass player, you can give him a headache. And that's what we want to do after all, isn't it? The time, I guess. <laughs> More so than the club owner. So it's 14 by six and a half, hammered steel, black plated. Again, Mapex exclusive custom tube lug, 2.3 millimeter hoop, Remo coated USA ambassador, and new Mapex piston strainer. That's cool. As mentioned before in Armory Series kits, the Tomahawk comes standard with the kits. Tomahawk is a 14 by five and a half steel drum with all the features that we've talked about in the last two drums. Amazing drum. It can crack or it can tune down low. It can be just a really mellow pop sounding drum, very articulate. The next drum in the range is a Dillinger. For all you hardcore maple fans, pure maple shell, 14 by five and a half, with piston strainer, Remo coated USA ambassador head, great all around drum. Now what's yeah. the outer veneer there? The outer veneer is an exotic, just an exotic figured wood, stained transparent walnut. Great look and a great all around drum. And it comes with that same piston strainer? Piston strainer, 2.3 mil hoops, and Remo coated USA Ambassador. The last drum in the lineup is another hybrid shell. It's called the Peacemaker, 14 by five and a half, maple walnut, the same layup as our Saturn series. Maple walnut, very, very full sounding drum. Walnut brings a lot of darkness into it. So it can be a really mellow sounding drum, tuned down low, it can be really thunderous and dark. Has again the piston strainer, Mapex exclusive tube lug, 2.3 mil hoop, and a coated USA ambassador. And just as a reminder, when we're talking about at the armory kit, you, these are the four other snare drums that you have the option of trading the snare drum out of the armory kit and getting one of these. We're going to look at some hardware now. Where, where do you want to start? Along with all the Armory Series kits, Mars kits, 
we've de developed hardware that goes along with those kits or can be bought, into, bought individually. Mars Series hardware, it's sort of light duty, double brace hardware. All of the hardware comes in either black plated finish or it comes in a chrome plated finish. The pieces can be bought individually or they can be bought as a hardware pack. All the boom stands are two, three tier, so you get the maximum height, the max, maximum adjustability. And let me show you a little feature we developed this year. On all the stands, we actually have a concave leg now. Okay, flares out at the bottom. What this does, this leg will position better underneath the spur of your bass drum or underneath another stand. So it's one more little way of making sure the positioning and adjustability is a little bit better. And stability too. And stability. So if you're in a tight stage situation where you can't uh, bring your the tripod legs all the way down, right. they still flare out at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Also we've made the base where the legs fold super tight so they take up less room in your hardware case or your hardware bag. And the way they unfold very smoothly very efficiently and like I said it's a medium weight double base strand so it's not going to break your back a bag of hardware is not going to cripple you they can, like I said they can be available in either hardware pieces or hardware packs all the hardware packs come with two boom stands snare drum stand hi-hat stand and are available with either a single pedal or double pedal two different tastes the, the kid that doesn't quite or the player who isn't quite ready for the double pedal experience can buy a hardware pack with single pedal. The guy who's ready to step up to a double pedal, he can buy it in a hardware pack. So we're looking at uh, the Armory Series hardware. Mm -hmm. Armory Series hardware is a little bit heavier duty. Tubes are a little bit bigger. Again, it's a three-tier stand as far as the boom stands. And it comes in, it comes in either chrome plating black plating or a special chrome and black combination chrome and black combination what a weird coincidence yeah. but it, it's got a whole different look a whole different vibe depending on what finished drum set you use it with it can change the whole look of the kit okay uh, this hardware like I said is a little bit heavier duty than the other all the pedals in this hardware series are black with a black footboard, the footboards are a little extended, not a long board, but a little bit more room for the feet and the balance. Hi-hat stand is a tri tripod with a swivel base. Some of the features on the cymbal stands in the Armory series are all the boom stands have the stepless tilter, so it's not a ratchet tilter. You can put the cymbal in anywhere you want it. It has the Mapex quick release cymbal locks on the hi-hat stand. You also have the Mapex quick release hi-hat cymbal locks. So we've taken some of the features from Falcon and integrated them into Armory Series. Armory Series is available in individual pieces or available in hardware packs. And the hardware packs, again, have two boom stands, hi-hat, snare drum stand, and bass drum pedal can either be single pedal or double pedal.